Our area's most beautiful properties deserve the finest realtors. Meeks Realty Group. We focus on buying and selling residential and commercial properties throughout the tri-state area. Contact Meeks Realty Group online at meeks.us or call 304-440-1101. The views and opinions expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of 580 WCHS, its employees, or WVRC Media. 580 Live is presented by Thornhill Automotive and is broadcast live from the Parmar Stores studio. The country, the United States of America, the state, West Virginia, the city, Charleston. This is 580 Live, and your host of 580 Live. What we've got here is failure to communicate. He's kind of a big deal. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubble. Dave Allen. Good Tuesday morning to you from the Parmar Store Studio 580 Live, brought to you by the Thornhill Auto Group, the voice of Charleston WCHS. Ryan Nicholson is our producer today. Bigly, Piggly Wiggly Hotline, 304-345-5858, Fruit Pharmacy Text, 304 935 Five zero zero eight five eighty live presented by Thornhill Auto Group. It is Chevy truck season now at Thornhill. Qualified buyers through GM Financial can get zero APR on new twenty twenty three Silverado fifteen hundreds and up to seventy five hundred dollars off lifted trucks. Visit Thornhill GM Superstore dot com or on US one nineteen in Chapmanville for all the details. And we do the show from the Parmar Store Studio. If there's not a Parmar Store near you now, there will be soon. Nobody hit the Powerball jackpot last night, so it's up to one point seven three billion with a B the man said billion dollars so stop by your favorite parmar location pick up your powerball ticket again the jackpot now 1.73 billion and as always please play responsibly coming up a little bit later on in the show going to be joined by metro news statewide correspondent brad McElhenney on this effort to keep trump off the ballot in west virginia it's not going to go anywhere but uh really i don't think it is but uh, there is an effort uh being made by a would-be presidential candidate a republican a writing candidate from texas we're going to talk to brad about that it was a big night last night in new york city for the wchs uh, family of stations our own jeff jenkins was there as we picked up a couple of uh, big old pieces of hardware Kerry hudasek is going to join us to talk about that plus a little later on uh state democratic party chair and delegate mike pushkin is going to join us and a little bit of a different uh, kind of visit uh that we're going to have with push this morning because uh he wants to weigh in on the situation in israel and perhaps uh he's got a little bit more knowledge than what some do on there so we're going to talk to mike pushkin coming up about that a little bit later on as always your calls and texts are welcome again bigly piggly wiggly hotline 304-345-5858 and the text line from fruth is 304-935-5008 you may have heard hoppy talking uh last week uh, on the show uh, and also Brad has weighed in on it as well. And it's a political action uh, group, a political action committee, a PAC, if you will, called Move West Virginia Forward that's uh, doing a lot of big things. They actually sponsored uh, a gubernatorial forum last week in Morgantown. David McCormick is the head of that organization, and he joins us now to talk about it. Dave, good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning, Dave. Thanks for having me. Thank you. From one Dave to another. Uh, great, uh, great to have you here. You know, uh, David, I frequently have candidates on the show, and I, and I have had some folks from political action committees on from time to time, but but not really that often. Uh, tell us about this organization, Move West Virginia Forward, how it got started, and, and what the basic goals are. Well, last election in 22, you know, well, back up a second, you know, uh, obviously we have a super majority, uh, Republican super majority in the house and Senate. Um, I'm just stating the obvious, mm-hmm. uh, there's been a lot of, of uh, economic development in West Virginia in the past couple of years, unprecedented, uh, announcements. And, uh, I think the business climate in West Virginia is, uh, is the best it's ever been and it's getting better. Uh, having said that, two years ago, you know, in Morgantown, uh, when everybody thinks of Morgantown, they think of WVU, and mm-hmm. that's and rightfully so. But you know, there's there's a lot of businesses in Morgantown. The roads are terrible. Um, uh, our representation in in Morgantown was really not in step, in our view, mm-hmm. uh, in step with. Um, what was going on in Charleston, all the positive things that were happening. And 
me and, and, and two other business, local business people, uh, Glenn Adrian and Rocky Janola, got together, and I said, guys, let's, you know, let's start a pack. Let's try to get some some business people elected uh, from our area, um, you know, more cons- thinking and, 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 you know, just to – and our pack is not about social issues mm-hmm. at all. Our pack is about broadband – expansion, water projects, roads, taxes, lower taxes, infrastructure in general. And, and um, you know, we're trying to uh, have some folks uh, in, involved in, in, the, in the Republican caucus that are making the decisions. And, frankly, we haven't had that in Morgantown, and the representation – we felt like was was lagging behind everywhere else and uh morgantown's a growth area as everyone knows and you know what so we got involved in seven races and lo and behold five of the candidates won Mm -hmm. and that was in the last election so this time you know takes money to to run campaigns and fund uh, advertising and the like and um we decided, you know, let's try to get the, the four candidates on the Republican side in to to talk to to our group, and it was just like nothing I'd ever seen. I mean, we, the response we have had, the amount of people that were there, and kudos to the four candidates. No one's really talked about that. <clears throat> All four of them were very civil. It was a it was a great evening. I was a little nervous moderating it because I didn't know, you know, you never know in those things if it could get chippy and it did not they were very respectful they stated their positions it was well received and and i want to thank all four of them for for um uh making it a great event because they did again we're talking with david mccormick of the political action committee move west virginia forward here on 580 live so you started this thing as you said dave a group of morgantown businessmen started uh this thing trying to get some candidates i'm presuming that that more aligned with a lot of the growth and pro business activities that are going on in Morgantown. So, so you did that. Is it going to be uh, expand beyond that? Are we going to see this on a statewide level now? We're going to see this here in Charleston or Huntington or other places. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I, absolutely. You know, um, and I'm a West Virginian, right? Not a, not, not a, I was born and raised in Logan. Uh, People that know me know that. I've lived in Morgantown for 24 years. Uh, I own a business there. Uh, I want to see the whole state do well. And, um, uh, you know, and, and, and we're just trying to get reasonable people elected. That, it's really that simple. There's, there's, you know, uh, there's too much extremism and fighting and, 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 uh, lines drawn in the sand. And we're, we're just trying to, get some some i said it multiple times you know just business people Mm -hmm. elected you know uh so so yes i think that you'll see that uh as we grow on a statewide basis but you know dave i gotta say you know in politics there's a lot of cheerleaders and not a lot of players and it (laughs) it takes money to to uh to do this now we've been successful so far raising money and um but you know you can only do so much so uh, yeah. um the, the 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 more support we get from around the state the more races we'll get involved in how's that for an answer that's a great answer uh, and, and i'll say this dave uh one of the things i found most interesting about your organization and you and i had a talk about it last week and i talked about it on the show one day last week that unlike a lot of political groups or action committees on both sides of the aisle um, you don't you don't dwell, and you said this a little bit earlier. You're not into the social issues, uh, which I I think is 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 a bit refreshing. Talk about that decision. Well, I mean, there's a space for that, and it's well documented. I mean, just turn on the TV. I mean, uh, and I'm not going to get into the the specific issues, but because uh, that's not part of our mission. Mm-hmm. But you know, like I said, we're business people, the the people that started to pack. Um, and, uh, uh, and those are the issues that we care about. It's not that we don't care about social issues, but that's not what we're focused on. Mm-hmm. Enough attention gets a pay, gets paid to that. 
and we want to improve the business climate in our area, not just Morgantown, but North Central West Virginia, and uh, and all around the state. That's what we're about. And um, we just, you know, uh, we're you can't be everything to everybody. And uh, you know, so we're we're that's what we're focusing on. And um, you know, I don't, I don't, I mean, we might get some criticism for that, but you know, so be it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I'm not going to ask you to do so now, Dave, but at perhaps at some point, uh, do you see doing endorsements in, in the Republican primary, perhaps a endorsement for governor or secretary of state or whatever? Is that something that you see on the horizon as we get closer to the primary next year? Um, probably not. Uh, uh, this is more geared, uh, let me... Not not in the governor's race, I don't think, uh, and, and pro- probably not at all. Mm-hmm. It's more geared towards the general, really. Um, uh, but but it depends on the candidates, Dave. I mean, you know, we we got to look and see who is filed, and we'll after the first of the year, and uh, we'll look at you know who's in each race, and and you know we actually interviewed everybody that we. And that's an important point I left out. We interviewed everybody that we supported and didn't support, mm-hmm. for that matter. Mm-hmm. And and then after we interview them, we make a decision if we're going to get in it, stay out of it, or you know, or whatever. Right. So so generally speaking, it's for the general election, but that decision has not been made yet. Okay. It'll get made after the first of the year. All right, fair enough. Where can people learn more about the organization, Dave? We can go to our website, uh, movedov4.com, and, uh, um, you know, you can – I'm not going to give my cell phone number out over there. <laughs> I'm going to give but, it – after you hang up, but, I'll give it uh, out. How's that? You know, you can <laughs> – and we're not hard to find. How yeah. about that? All right, there you uh, go. A simple so, Google, so Google's uh, your friend. <laughs> that's right. We're not hard to find. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I'd be willing to talk to anyone that wants to talk about it and – uh um, you know, we're, we're, we are excited about what we've been able to accomplish so far and, and based on the level of success and response we've had since last Tuesday, uh, I can't imagine it not just snowballing. All right. Dave McCormick of the group, uh, move West Virginia forward. I appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to be here, my friend. We'll talk soon. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me, Dave. All right. Uh, David McCormick, again, the uh, organization is called Move West Virginia Forward. And it is interesting because um, I, I was not in Morgantown last week. We did talk about it on the air. You know, I did um, see a lot written about and some video and so on and so forth from that gubernatorial forum that they did uh, out at uh, Lakeview in Morgantown last week. And, and, and again, it you know, chippy is the word that uh, uh, the David McCormick used. Uh, and it really wasn't that. I mean, now, again, though, October – Okay, October, keep that in mind. We'll see what happens in the governor's race and maybe some of the others. Some of the others have gotten a little chippy already, particularly the attorney general's race. Uh, so we'll see what happens uh, come come May. But uh, wish them the best of luck. Uh, I, I really, really do. 580 Live is brought to you part by your hometown baseball team, the Charleston Dirty Birds. You're saying, Dave? It's not baseball season. Well, there's still big goings on over at Gomart Ballpark. Uh, Come and check out the Down and Dirty Music Festival happening this weekend. It's going to be two great days of music. And uh, programming note, Eden Douglas uh, from the uh, Dirty Birds is going to join us on the show Thursday to talk about it. If you need tickets or for more information, visit Down and Dirty Musical Festival.com. Bigly Piggly Wiggly Hotline 304. 345-5858 345-5858 Fruit Pharmacy Text 304-935-5008 Brad Mack is up next Kerry Hudasek coming up and Mike Pushkin as well from the Parmar Store Studio 580 Live brought to you by the Thornhill Auto Group and the Voice of Charleston WCHS Brought to you by the Eric J. Tarr Family Businesses Eric J. Tarr Family Businesses bring first class businesses to your community We are professional great Hey it's Sydney inviting you to enjoy more with Thornhill GM Superstore and GMC is leading the way whether it's the rugged GMC Sierra pickup or the versatile GMC Acadia Thornhill has a perfect GMC for you powerful reliable and comfortable truck then don't miss this opportunity to get the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 where limited time well qualified buyers can enjoy 0.9% APR financing plus 3250 purchase allowance with an eligible trade and that's not all take advantage of no money 
monthly payments until 2024. Click or come by ThornhillGMSuperstore.com. We are professional grade. Get more on the Thornhill Motor Mile, US 119, Chapmanville. With offer all for 13 financial seat, Thornhill for all details. Thrive with five at the best community bank in the Canal Valley, Polka Valley Bank. Poca Valley Bank is now offering a certificate of deposit special, 10-month APY, annual percentage yield 5%. Take advantage of this great rate to grow your savings. For more information, stop by a Poca Valley Bank location today or call 844-782-2651. Poca Valley Bank, where relationships matter. Certain terms and conditions apply. Rates based on minimum annual percentage yield. Subject to change without notice. Minimum deposit required of $10,000 of new money not currently on deposit with Poca Valley Bank to receive APY. Member FDIC. At Stike Wealth Enhancement Group, we believe a better investment experience for investors begins with independent, personalized advice. Hi, I'm Jim Goolsby, and I'm happy to be a part of Stike Wealth Enhancement Group. If you're considering retirement or would like to put a plan in place for your current and future investment needs, reach out to us at Stike Wealth Enhancement Group, 304-443-4247, or jgoolsby at stikewealth.com. Securities and advisory service offered through LPL Financial, a registered investment advisor. Member FINRA SIPIC. The most wonderful time of the year is here. Uh, uh, of course, I'm talking about football season, and your local Parmar stores are ready. Hey, it's Dave Allen. Whether you need to gas up the tank, grab a bite to eat, or stock up on snacks and drinks for the tailgate party, or for your own couch, Parmar's got you covered. Parmar is the official store of the West Virginia Secondary Schools Activities Commission and of Marshall University. Happy football. And remember, if there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Today on 580 Hotline, we'll begin keying in on WVU Houston. The Astros and Twins square off at 3.30 on 1490 WSWW. Then the Orioles at Rangers tonight at 7.30 on 580 WCHS. Nine twenty four five eighty live brought to you by Pinnacle Consultants, the only accredited commercial lab in West Virginia for asbestos and mold. Asbestos was banned in some building products, but it isn't banned from all products in the U.S. Do not expose your family or workers to asbestos, mold, or lead paint. Get with Pinnacle Consultants. They offer real estate environmental assessments for hazardous materials and air quality. Visit PinnacleCorp.net. PinnacleCorp.net because what you don't know can Hurt you. Let's bring in Metro News statewide correspondent Brad McElhenney. Brad, good morning. How are you? Hi, Dave. Doing good. Uh, so stop me if you've heard this before and you have a story posted at WVMetroNews.com. A Trump in court story. <laughs> or at least a court case involving the former president. I don't think it's going to go that far. Attorneys, Brad, for former President Donald Trump are seeking a dismissal of a federal lawsuit to keep him off the ballot in West Virginia. Now, the suit was filed by a gentleman by the name of John Anthony Castro out of Texas, who is a Republican and who is a write-in candidate for president. Take it from there. Well, you know, this got a lot of attention from Republicans around the state, including on this program a week or two ago, uh, because they were uh, very upset by the, the entire concept of West Virginia voters potentially not having a chance to make their own decision about former President Trump's 2023 candidacy, 2024, I guess, is when that vote will be. And But the court case has carried on. And yes, the, the guy who filed it is a Republican write-in candidate, John Anthony Castro of Texas. And it's operating on a couple of levels. This guy Castro says that the that, that Trump being on the ballot, he's got to demonstrate standing to be in the federal courts. So the harm he is trying to say is that, that Trump will potentially take away votes from him. So leave aside the likelihood of that. But the other... The other level that this case is operating on is Article 3 of the 14th Amendment, sort of a high-level intellectual constitutional question. And this, this aspect of the 14th Amendment was a result of the Civil War, where Americans were determining, as Confederate figures were re-entering public life, what do we do with these people? And so... The 14th Amendment disqualifies federal office holders who have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given comfort or aid to enemies thereof. Mm -hmm. What what this guy, um, Castro, is, is, is saying in his lawsuit is that Trump should be disqualified because of all the activities 
surrounding the January 6th events. Uh, you know, the question I think is, is, is that the level it rose to? And who would say so? Who, who could define it? But the cases in uh, the court of Judge Irene Berger in federal court, are we comfortable with one person saying, yes, that was insurrectionist activities, and you should not be on the ballot for West Virginians to be able to choose you. Uh, it's an interesting question, and I, I don't know if this lawsuit is necessarily headed in that direction of resolving it, but it, it's it's an interesting case as long as it plays out. Yeah, and, and look, Brad, I, I've said this before, and this is this is just Dave speaking, and I don't have to be objective. You do. I've said it before. I would prefer that Donald Trump not be the nominee, but... I don't like it. I'm speaking as a conservative Republican, but I don't want it to be like this. You know, I just, I, I personally just wish the Republican voters would make that happen and literally choose anyone else on the stage. Okay, maybe not Ramaswamy, uh, but but anybody else. But moving forward, you know, that's that's not going to happen. So, in my opinion, you know, we don't need the courts or a, as you said, a singular person deciding. Who's going to be on the ballot with a case like this? And, it, and it's it's not going to happen. I mean, it's simply not going to happen, I don't think. I am largely with you, and as much as I, I, I would like to express my respect for Judge Berger, but that is a heavy load for a singular person to decide whether mm -hmm. the former president and the lead nominee is going to be on the ballot for West Virginians to choose. Uh, similarly, this question has been before secretaries of state in states across the nation and frankly i would be equally uncomfortable with mac warner deciding yes or no right, yeah. that was insurrectionist activity the 14th amendment disqualifies you well we'll see how it plays out and again if you want to get into all of the links and you want to get into all of this where this whole thing comes from brad's got a, a great story posted at wvmetronews.com so go check it out there uh moving on brad if you check my social media today i have been marked safe from having my helicopter seized. Uh, can you say the same? <laughs> uh, yes, it pays to not have a helicopter. Uh, <laughs> Something people is, in radio never have to worry about, but go ahead. <laughs> well, Governor Justice uh, does have a helicopter, or at least the company that his family owns, Bluestone Resources, has a helicopter, and it has value. So it, it is a wishbone currently. It, there, There is a lawsuit where justice owes like $10 million. It's already been adjudicated, and it is a company called Mikkel Mining, which is Russian. Justice sold his coal operations to Mikkel at $500 million, bought the coal operations back at $5 million, and then continued to have a business relationship. The, the, the relationship called for, among other things, continuing to pay Mikkel $3 a ton for mined coal. Mikkel, the Russian mining company, contends that Justice and Bluestone didn't live up to that and that it amounted to $8.7 million and additional interest getting you to about $10 million. It, it went through the court system. It, was, um, it actually went to an international arbitration panel because it's an international question. And the panel said, yeah, you owe the money. That's been a couple of years. Well, Mikkel has been unable to collect, and so now they're going after physical property. The governor's, well, Bluestone's helicopter, which is located somewhere in Roanoke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Justice objects in, in court documents filed Friday. Bluestone objects and says, look, why do we want to tip the scales to benefit a Russian oligarch? All right, fair point. The other thing they say is actually owe much more money to other lenders, like $800 million to uh, big international lenders that, that the justice companies borrowed from uh, in recent years. And that is secured lending, meaning that justices say that the, the, that the bigger fish should in line, if anything, if that helicopter sells. So they're between a rock and a hard place between the Russian oligarchs and between the big fish, and it's it's not an easy situation to be in, I am sure. Lots of financial stress, which is why 
Dave and Brad, thank goodness, every day we don't have a helicopter to worry about. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's the only thing that kept me from buying a helicopter was I just didn't want to have to go through all this. Brad, uh, about 30 seconds, what are you working on today? You know, the campaign finance reports are coming out today for offices like Governor and the Secretary of State's. Now, that is a due date, and I'm sure you know from your past at the Secretary of State's office, it doesn't necessarily mean that they will arrive over the course of the day in a timely manner for me, but I'm going to be clicking refresh on that website to see who's raising the most money and who has the most means to get their message out. All right, Brad, I appreciate you, man. We'll talk again soon. Keep an eye on your helicopter, buddy. We'll talk soon. Thanks a lot. I have no idea where it is. I hope the Russians don't have it. <laughs> 28 minutes away from 10, 580 Live, brought to you by Brightway, the maze agency of Taze Valley. Buying auto insurance can be complicated. That's why you need a local person to look out for you and your family. Brightway, the maze agency, they can customize policies and coverages that you need and want. Call John and Sherry Mays, 304-814-2509, or visit Brightway Maze. Dot com for more information. Going to transition over to talk to Carrie Huda. Said may or may not have a helicopter. Is that a, do you have a helicopter, Carrie? I don't. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, not everybody. Has and if a I did, I wouldn't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems to be a running theme in radios yeah. that we don't have helicopters. Um, in the words of pro wrestling legend Arn Anderson, uh, we don't like to toot our own horn, but toot toot. Yeah. Uh, it was a big night in New York City last night for the WCHS uh, network. Talk about it, it. It was. It was. And we are tooting our own horn because we took home two national Edward R. Murrow Awards. It's one of the prestigious uh, awards you can receive in journalism and radio broadcasting. And so we took home Best Newscast, and that was for a West Virginia Morning News segment that we had featuring the August 2022 flooding on uh, Route 60 in Kanawha and Fayette counties, which many people remember, especially here in this area. And then we took home the big one that we've been wanting for years <laughs> and years, overall excellence, which demonstrates everything we do here on 580 WCHS, our news coverage, our sports coverage, everything in between. That's, you know, what makes us WCHS, the voice of Charleston. So our news director, Jeff Jenkins, who many of you hear every day here on the news, uh, went to Gotham Hall in New York City to accept those two awards for us. And um, if you don't mind, I can play a little segment from last night when he accepted our overall excellence, um, which was the final category of the night. The mission at 580 WCHS is to inform, engage, and entertain their community. Through a mix of news, sports, and local programming, they strive to create a connection with listeners, offering a voice that proudly reflects the spirit of West Virginia. A student on the bus saw the gun, grabbed its loaded magazine, and took it to the bus driver, who shut down, evacuated students, and called law enforcement. The boy was arrested in the plan and rabble. Shelves are cleared here in the baby formula aisle of the Southridge Target in Charleston, and anxiety is kicking in for moms like Miranda Faith who don't breastfeed. The verdict is in, and Joshua Phillips has been found guilty of second-degree murder in the 2020 shooting death of Charleston police officer Cassie Johnson. Second-degree murder is punishable by 10 to 40 years in prison. She made two free throws with four seconds left in basketball game. I mean, again, every kid's dream. Accepting this award for overall excellence is news director Jeff Jenkins. As you can see, we're, we're very proud here. Well, as well, we should. You know, Chris and I were talking there during the break. I mean, this puts us up there. Not that we needed any proof of that. We've been mm -hmm. doing this for 100 years. I mean, literally almost 100 years. But we're one of the best in America. We really are. <laughs> and not many people do what we do anymore. And I'm, I'm talking local radio news broadcasting. I mean, you have the big guys, ABC, CBS, yeah. all of them. But people love to tune in. I mean, I know I'm biased, but they like to hear what's going on in their local communities. And right. that's what we do every day. I yeah. mean, and, and this was an award for WCHS. I yeah. mean, that we want to make sure that people realize. I mean, the Metro News mm -hmm. Network is an awesome thing. I mean, it's, it's what other statewide, uh, there's been other states 
that have come to us and said, how did you set this up? This is not about Metro News, though. This is about us locally, yeah. WCHS, 580 and the WCHS stations. It is, yeah. It's about everyone that we, you know, we, we talk to in the communities and you know, all, all our sports coverage that is Metro News you know, affiliated. But it's just it's it really is about the Charleston, Kanawha Valley, Putnam County, all of those areas that we cover every day. And we're just we're so thankful that it was being able to be recognized and highlighted because we really do work hard. We, we want to bring fair and accurate information to our listeners. And the listeners are really a part of why we won this is because you all tune into us and you want to be informed. You want to know what's going on. And we make sure to provide that to you. I mean, this is this is a pretty big deal. Uh, and again, we want to say thank you to the listeners. You and Chris, I think, have done a good job. I've been listening to the morning news all morning. And you've talked about that. And now with where we are now in radio, uh, Carrie, it's not just about turning on the radio in your car or in, in your on your nightstand or whatever, because I literally on this show get texts and calls from Florida, from Texas, from oh, other sure. places, because we're streaming and we're out there now. My and, parents who live in New Jersey, they listen to the morning news all the time, even yeah. though it's not happening in their backyard. I mean, the, it's their daughter that's on the air. That's why they listen. But my dad will listen to our, our sports coverage because he, it's just such a great, well put together broadcast. And, we uh, do. and uh, there's some all the stuff that we that Carrie played and we talked about, it's all on uh, on X, the artist formerly known as Twitter, and also on uh, on Facebook as well, and on the website. So go check it out. If nothing else, to see Jeff Jenkins in a tux. Yeah, I know. He was looking, His nice bow tie. He was awesome. <laughs> he, he was awesome. I mean, he looked great. And uh, did, did, I, I'm presuming he didn't get to give a speech. No, no, they they kind of run through them pretty quickly. But it was cool to at least hear part of our segment. They only play for overall excellence. That's when they play the short segments yeah. of what's on our air. And so we were able to hear that. This this is the equivalent to winning Best Picture in the Oscars. It really is like the yeah. Oscars of radio and TV broadcasting. So, yeah, we're really thrilled. All right, Carrie, I appreciate you taking time out of your schedule uh, to be here. Now, get back to work. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Go get us another one. All right, for next year. Carrie Hudasek for the newsroom. It's 22 minutes away from 10. 580 Live brought to you by Meeks Realty Group. If you're looking for a beautiful home, they have just what you're looking for. It's four bedrooms, four and a half baths, 8,600 square feet on two acres of beautiful land with a pool and a bathhouse, outdoor kitchen, exercise room, custom built-in bar, steam room, and koi pond. It's located in Taze Valley, the Woodvale Heights section. For more information, call 304-401-1101 or visit meeks.us for more information. Uh, Mike Pushkin is going to be joining us here momentarily. Uh, let me uh, knock out a couple of quick texts here. Uh, text says, uh, Dave, uh, I'm an independent, and I don't like conspiracy theorists and too much focus on social issues and war on women. I will not be supporting Republicans this time around, according to a texter. Text says it figures that Republicans would ignore the Constitution when it doesn't suit them. The disqualification under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment was done against uh, Cowie Griffin, a New York, Mexico, uh, a New Mexico rather court ruled he engaged in insurrection on January 6, disqualified Griffin from serving as a county commissioner and ordered him removed from office. Remember when the West Virginia GOP tried to run an el ineligible candidate for Senate in 2022 and had to be reminded by a judge that the state constitution still applies to them. Texas, so this guy from Texas is sticking his nose in the West Virginia ballots by trying to remove Trump because he claims Trump is ineligible because of January 6th. By the way, really sick of hearing about that two and a half years later. Then I want this guy removed from the ballots and charged with election interference since he admitted himself and all he's concerned is with Trump taking votes away from him. I don't think we have to worry about this guy uh, getting too many votes, as Brad pointed out. Uh, text says, congratulations, everyone. You do West Virginia proud. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate that. We're going to take a break. State Democratic Party Chair Delegate Mike Pushkin to weigh in on Israel when we come back. From the Parmar Store Studio 580 Live, brought to you by the Thornhill Ladder Group and the Voice of Charleston, WCHS. Brought to you by the Eric J. Tarr Family Businesses. Eric J. Tarr Family Businesses want to thank you for shopping locally. Expecting a new addition to the family? Pew Furniture has everything you will need. We have a large selection of crib groups in multiple finishes. We offer several models of crib mattresses and bassinets as well. Add a cozy rocking chair and you will have a warm, welcoming room. We understand that comfort is essential at every stage of life. This is why we offer a wide range of lift chairs in many different sizes, colors, and options. These chairs are game changers. Whether you're looking for convenience or need due to medical necessity, these chairs will give you independence. When it comes to a good night's sleep, you deserve the best, and our Almost Heaven mattresses deliver. At Pew Furniture, we're not just a store. We've been part of the community since 1917. 
We take pride in helping you make your house a true home with three floors of showroom space. So why wait? Come visit us at 1320 Smith Street, Charleston, or at buypew.com. Pew Furniture Warehouse Showrooms, where it's better quality furniture at prices you want to pay. Open Monday through Saturday, 9.30 to 5. We are professional grade. Hey, it's Sydney inviting you to enjoy more with Thornhill GM Superstore. And GMZ is leading the way. Whether it's the rugged GMC Sierra pickup or the versatile GMC Acadia, Thornhill has a perfect GMC for you. Powerful, reliable, and comfortable truck. Then don't miss this opportunity to get the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can enjoy 0.9% APR financing plus 32.50 purchase allowance with an eligible trade. And that's not all. Take advantage of no monthly payments until 2024. Click or come by thornhillgmsuperstore.com. We are professional grade. Get more on the Thornhill Motor Mile US 119 Chapmanville. For all first financial seat, Thornhill for all details. It's not every day you purchase a vehicle, but one person who does, Larry Dawson. Larry Dawson Auto Sales in Nitro. I'm Randy Dameron with a message regarding honesty, integrity, and the willingness to save you money when it's time for you to purchase a slightly used vehicle. I've known Larry as a friend for years, and you too can have a friend in the car business. Click or come in today and meet Larry. Larry Dawson Auto Sales, Nitro. Seventeen away from ten, the WCHS Network giving you a chance to win tickets to see Trans Siberian Orchestra November the seventeenth at the Coliseum Convention Center with our five four three two one for tickets contest. Listen all day starting next Monday. Grab the keyword, enter it at wchsnetwork.com slash tso. We're going to count down from the fifth row seats on Monday to the front row seats next Friday. It is brought to you by Putnam County Bank, where relationships matter, and the voice of Charleston, WCHS. Ryan Nicholson is our producer today. Bigly Piggly Wiggly Hotline, 304-345-5858. Text line from Fruit, 304-935-5008. State Democratic Party Chair Delegate Mike Pushkin is here. Michael, good morning. Um, I got into this a little bit yesterday, but as someone who has a little bit more insight on uh, the Israeli situation, I think probably more than a lot of other people, um, including myself in that, I appreciate you being here. Start with your overall thoughts. I know you were traveling over the weekend, but when this news broke, how did you find out about it and your your first response? Yeah, well, thanks for having me on, and I don't know how much more real – insight i have than than any other you know average citizen you know as a member of the state legislature we don't we don't address foreign policy uh nor should we uh we we deal with with only with local issues and state issues i was kind of alluding to your yeah how i but yeah but as a jewish (laughs) yeah as a jewish american yes i care deeply about uh the state of israel and and do maybe pay closer attention to it uh than than most citizens but uh yeah, it's a, it's it's affected all of us deeply. It's affected you know not just all Jewish Americans, but all Americans. As, as the uh, news, to, the hor- horrible news, just continues to pour out of Israel, and you see uh, hear more of more stories and, and see more footage of uh, civilians uh, being massacred. I think uh, Rabbi Yurecki uh, stated yesterday that this is uh, in in one day it was the uh, uh, largest number of, of of Jewish casualties since the Holocaust. Um, now think about one, that for a moment. I'm going to interrupt you there. Just I, I was listening uh, when when he said that on talk line yesterday. Now think about that just for a moment. What what Mike and and what uh, what Rabbi Yurecki said about that in one day more. More Jews, more Jewish people were slaughtered in that one day than I mean, going back to the Holocaust. You'd have to yeah. go back to the Holocaust yeah. to find out when that when that happened. Last. Yeah, so I mean, this we're on the 50th anniversary of uh, the Yom Kippur War. Some call it the October War. Where Israel was invaded by every surrounding country mm-hmm. uh, at the same time during you know our holiest of, of days, and that's part of I think the why the, the timing of, of oh, yeah. this attack. Yeah. Uh, even on that day, you, you didn't see the targeting of of women and children, the targeting of civilians, like you did in this this barbaric attack, uh, this terrorist attack. And I, I refuse to call uh, them militants; they're terrorists. That's what Hamas is. Hamas is a terrorist group. And uh, but as I, I you know saw the news as everyone else did, as it was coming in Saturday morning, I was actually at um, that was when, right before the. Uh, General Assembly of the, of the DNC of the Democratic National Committee, and uh, you know everybody was just in shock. It 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 really took a while for it to set in. I mean, you often hear of 
unfortunately, we often hear, too often hear, of rocket attacks uh, aimed at southern Israel. And, and, you know, this was so much different. It was, first of all, so many more rockets and then added to uh, terrorists crossing in and, um, and, and just and going after uh, civilians, women and children. The, the, the story that, that really just got me was about the, um, the music festival in southern Israel. And I just attend, I attend a lot of music festivals. I was just at a music festival down in Greenbrier County, so I can picture this. You know, just mainly, you know, young people having a good time, mm-hmm. listening yeah. to music, maybe sleeping in tents for the weekend, having a good time. Uh, they woke up uh, that morning to uh, the sound of gunfire, and uh, they were just being, you know, gunned down uh, in their tents. I think their, the death toll from that festival is, is like is close to 300. So a, a large portion of the, uh, of the death toll that you hear is from this one music festival. Uh, people are just going out to have a good time. It, it's it's awful. Have you um, have you done a any kind of a deep dive? Because I did a little bit of it over the weekend on the communication or lack of, and why that so many so many. And I'm not placing blame on anybody, but why so many people didn't see this coming? Because people, as I said on the show yesterday, Mike, people that aren't part of the talking heads on CNN or Fox News or whatever are saying that this was a colossal failure. That yeah. uh, any, any thoughts you know, on it, that? Israel is known for its uh, advanced uh, intelligence. They have to be. They're under a, a constant state, uh, a constant sure. threat. So they have to have very advanced intelligence. And I, you know, it's far, far above my pay grade to do any kind of dive into uh, what broke down there. Uh, but I'm sure that that's that that's ongoing. Yeah, it's uh, and when you see the video, because now you know we uh, unlike 1973 when you and I were both three years old, and you know you didn't have. I mean, I've got the TV on in the studio in here now, and 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 just when when you see it live and you look at like I flipping through the channels and like Lester Holt of NBC News was on was in Tel Aviv last night, and you see we're actually seeing real time images being brought in. One that kind of I guess struck with me over the weekend, Mike was. Um, you know, Hamas is you know claiming that this was, but they that the, I'm not going to try to get into their mindset, but uh, they're claiming that some of the people that they targeted uh, were anti-Hamas or whatever. I mean, it was a young girl, 20 years old, perhaps from the music festival. I'm not sure, uh, barefoot, being bloody face being thrown into a car and somebody that i'd seen on social media said yeah this is the terrorist that they're going after is this young girl as i said perhaps from the music festival i'm not uh, sure hamas is a terrorist group they've always been a terrorist group if you look at their original charter uh their only goal is the complete destruction of uh, the state of israel um to call them anything different is just uh it would just be false and I, i don't see how you know some kids enjoying music at a music festival uh, posed any any threat to anybody uh it's it's just you know can't even put into words uh, mm-hmm. how i feel about it right now tim um, go ahead uh, go ahead yeah, no i was, I was going to go to break but if you want to finish up your, your thought go ahead yeah it's uh they can you know people can there's so much misinformation that's out there and and uh just just, just plain you know, ignorance that I've seen being posted on on from from either side right now, and it's 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 hard for us to understand over here mm-hmm. uh, where we re- live relatively safely. Yeah, uh, most of the time, it's hard for us to really fathom. We don't live like but, that, uh, like they do. Live, but can you imagine just you, your you and your family just being ripped out of your home and you know and 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 kidnapped like that or gunned down? Uh, you know, it, it's said it's hard to put into words. Ten minutes away from 10, 580 Live, brought to you right by Hudson's Pizza. This month at your favorite Hudson's, get a large 18-inch pepperoni pizza at any pizza deal, only twenty one ninety nine. Find your local Hudson's Pizza for dine-in, delivery, or pickup at Hudson'sPizza.com. We're back after this from the Parmar Store Studio 580 Live. is brought to you by the Thornhill Auto Group on the Voice of Charleston, WCHS. Brought to you by the Eric J. Tarr Family Businesses. Eric J. Tarr Family Businesses live to make life better for you and your family.
I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. I am often asked, what is the value of my case? The answer, of course, depends on your injuries, liability, and the damages to you financially. And it also very much depends on the law firm you hire to represent you. All firms are not the same. For over 30 years, Morgan & Morgan has been here at your time of need. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Office 222 Capitol Street, Charleston. Cases will be handled by West Virginia licensed attorneys. The attorney in this ad is not licensed in West Virginia. For ThePeople.com. We are professional grade. Hey, it's Sydney inviting you to enjoy more with Thornhill GM Superstore. And GMZ is leading the way. Whether it's the rugged GMC Sierra pickup or the versatile GMC Acadia, Thornhill has a perfect GMC for you. Powerful, reliable, and comfortable truck. Then don't miss this opportunity to get the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can enjoy 0.9% APR financing plus 32.50 purchase allowance with an eligible trade. And that's not all. Take advantage of no monthly payments until 2024. Click or come by thornhillgmsuperstore.com. We are professional grade. Get more on the Thornhill Motor Mile US 119 Chapmanville. With offer all for 13 financial Thornhill for all details. Unsure you're ready for retirement? That's understandable. After all, you only retire retire once. Make the smart choice and call 4th Avenue Financial. If it deals with retirement planning, you can be confident they have the experience you need. Retire right with 4th Avenue Financial. Go to 4thAvenueFinancial.com or call 304-746-7977 to book your free introductory meeting today. Securities offered through JW Co. Financial Incorporated, member FINRA SIPC. Advisory services offered through JW Co. Advisors Incorporated, JW Co. Financial, JW Co. Advisors, and 4th Avenue Financial are unaffiliated entities. Elevators. You take them for granted until they let you down. If you're working to maintain a stellar reputation, then let me introduce you to DC Elevator. We want to work with you to make sure your people get where they are going. What could be better than a new company coming to the area and already having 45 years of experience? DC Elevator is bringing a new culture of elevator maintenance, repairs, modernization, and installation to West Virginia. Don't leave your people hanging. For a free consultation, call DC Elevator at 304-345-7222. Nine fifty three five eighty live brought to you part by QC Kinetics of Huntington across lanes. Now imagine living your life with no more pain in your knees, your hips, your shoulders, or your back. QC Kinetics can make it happen without steroid surgery, pain pills, or downtime. Call QC Kinetics of Huntington across lanes for a complimentary consultation. 304-202-5566. 304-202-5566 for QC Kinetics of Huntington Cross Lanes. Mike Pushkin is here. We're talking about the situation uh in uh, in Israel that uh, unfolded over the weekend continues uh, today. And Mike, unfortunately, because this is the era that we live in now, mm-hmm. and one side is as guilty as the other in my opinion it's it's political uh, well, it, it shouldn't be it, it's not it, this is a uh this is a, a humanitarian crisis mm-hmm. and uh i i you know believe in the old saying that politics should end at the at the water's edge when we're talking about foreign policy especially something like this um it's time for us to you know look past our our internal differences and present a united front you know, 22 years ago, when we were attacked uh, by a terrorist organization, um, we all we were all Americans. We all came together, and we had the support of the rest of the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is this is very similar. In fact, uh, in a lot of ways, it's just it, it's it's yeah, it's different, but also very similar. Where you actually had you know armed terrorists, you know, still roving through uh, you know, the nation of Israel and and. Uh, killing people and capturing people uh don't you know think about that it's really hard to imagine mm-hmm. uh people are just living their 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 lives and having it disrupted like this by this this, this horrible act of, of terrorism so now i think we should put politics aside i've seen um tell you the truth ignorant statements from both sides and uh it, it's not the time for that give me an example of something that you would think probably shouldn't have been said well, not, not uh, any kind of justification of terrorism is wrong. There mm-hmm. is absolutely no justification. I mean, you can, we can um, disagree uh, with with policies uh, in our own government. We can disagree with policies in the Netanyahu administration. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a supporter of of Netanyahu. But this is past that. Uh, this is a. There's no justification for this type of violence and this type of unprovoked terrorism. Now, uh, on the right, I've seen statements that, that link this somehow to the Biden administration. That's completely ridiculous, and that also lends credence to a, a senseless, horrific, violent act. Um, you know, there was a, a lot of this is response to talks that were going on 
with Saudi Arabia, trying to bring Saudi Arabia to the table, trying to bring peace to the region, and they were making progress in having Saudi Arabia simply recognize Israel's right to exist. I believe you know, Hamas, of course, didn't want to see that happen. Iran didn't want to see that happen, who sponsors a state sponsor of Hamas. And that's uh, possibly is what led to this attack. But, uh, you know, there's no one to blame but the perpetrators of the attack. 580 Live is brought to you part by General Hardware and Lumber of Winfield. Come check out their new contractor showroom, Lumber Yard and more, and they deliver service and quality right to your door. Don't buy until you get a quote from General Hardware and Lumber of Winfield. Let me knock out a couple of texts here. Texas people wonder why the Democrats are losing in West Virginia due to national politics. The behavior by the squad over Israel is why. West Virginia Dems don't want the crapola at the national level to filter into West Virginia and local politics. It's called preventive medicine. I... I I, I saw statements over the weekend uh, from some of the, uh, you know, the most progressive members of Congress, and they were pretty much in unison with what, what we were all saying. They were condemning terrorism for what it is. In fact, I believe it was Congressman Torres, who represents part of, of the Bronx. Uh, he was the one. He, can, he went after the media for referring to Hamas as militants. Said they're not militants. They're terrorists. And that was a pretty strong statement from uh, Congressman Torres, who was, who was – one of the, um, you know, probably the most liberal uh, members of Congress. Now, I have not uh, seen any. Uh, it seems to me that, that right now Congress is, uh, is acting, acting in unison on this issue. Uh, Tex says, hey, Dave, I keep hearing all these texts coming into your show from low-information, indoctrinated liberal voters and wonder where all the common-sense texters are that it just hit me. The majority of Republican texters are at work while all the liberal texters are sitting at home on their butts while we pay for it. Well, unfortunately, I think people do uh, text at work as well. <laughs> yes. Well, no, I won't say unfortunately. I'm going to say fortunately. Fortunately Tex, for you. Tex says the West Virginia GOP never once made a mention of the Biden administration. Uh, elected officials did. Yeah. I'm, sorry. I'm not saying it was a statement from the actual – From the, I read their statement. Yeah. Um, but no, there were statements from elected uh, officials, I, and I'm you, not gonna I'm not gonna go through and 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 uh, you know call people out for. It. I'm just saying they're wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, they're wrong. Have you had any? Um, I mean, when you when you that's giving it a reason mm -hmm. for this other than what it is. Okay, it's terrorism, plain and simple. There's absolutely no reason for it. When you're saying it was because of this talk or that, I mean, first of all, the 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 money that was unfrozen. Uh, the Iranian a assets that were unfrozen, they haven't been touched yet. They're still in a bank somewhere. They have to prove that it's for humanitarian aid. You're not going to get that information if you only watch, you know, Fox News or, or uh, you know, uh, one of the, or I can't even remember the names yeah. of some of these far right networks, but you're not going to get that information All right, uh, from so there. But that's, that's the truth. But to blame it on, on anything other than what it is is. Uh, is simply false. All right, we'll leave it with this. I did not get to all the text, but I'll leave it with this one. Hamas deserves complete obliter uh, obliteration. Terrorism and war crimes are not actions of so-called resistance fighters. Mike, I appreciate you uh, coming in this morning. Thanks a lot, man. Right, thanks for having me on. Coming up uh, tomorrow, State Senator Eric Nelson is going to be here. He just announced he will be running for re-election. We're going to talk to him. Mackenzie Spencer from Festival will be stopping by. And another state senator who wants to be your attorney general, Ryan Weld, will be on the show tomorrow as well. My producer was Ryan Nicholson. Thank you so much. Thanks to David McCormick for being here and also to Brad Michaelhoney and Carrie Hudasek. Hobby's coming up. I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, have fun and love somebody. AM 96.5 FM Charleston and 104.5 Cross Lane on WVRC Media Station. We're proud to live here too.